Mark. Lynn's thanks. Tonight, Mexican authorities continue to investigate the deaths of two sisters from Arizona. Both of them were killed in Sonora, Mexico, Friday morning and were found dead inside their car that had been riddled with bullets. Now, we know that a lot of you travel down to Sonora to areas like Rocky Point on a pretty regular basis. So ahead of the holiday weekend, how can visitors stay safe? 12 News journalist Bianca Bono talked to an official from the Consulate General of Mexico and has some safety tips from experts. Tragedy striking near Arizona's southern border after two sisters, 72 and 82 years old, were attacked by armed men and murdered in Mexico. They were on their way to Caborca, Sonora, Mexico, Friday morning, heading there on a highway from the border town of Sonoida, ultimately found dead inside this white Nissan Pathfinder, which had been rolled over and was riddled with bullets. Authorities locating a stolen truck with firearms and ammunition inside, believed to have been operated by the attackers, the criminals responsible, still at large. We're very sorry for this. We aren't expecting anything like that to happen to anyone, not a, Me a Mexican national, not an American national. Maria Fernanda Araguin works at the Consulate General of Mexico's Phoenix office. She says she routinely gets questions from Arizonans seeking advice on how to safely travel to Sonora. She says popular vacation destinations there, like Rocky Point, are safe. It's better if you start early so you get to, your, to the place that you're going through during daylight. The second tip that I would say is to stop in public places. Right now, the U.S. Department of State has issued a travel advisory for Sonora, telling Americans to reconsider visiting the area due to crime and kidnapping. We tend to focus on the things that are going wrong. And there are a lot of things that are going well in Mexico. Concerns over Sonora's safety are familiar to Mike Jarvanin and his wife, Linnell. It's very safe. And my wife travels it three days a week. It's part of what inspired Linnell to start their business nearly 20 years ago. Head out to Rocky Point, a shuttle service bringing groups from Phoenix to the beach destination. She worked in Phoenix in the reservation business for Rocky Point Reservations and just heard the need of how to get down there. And people didn't want to drive their cars. And they're a little leery about the whole situation, so we just started it. As Sonora's attorney general and the FBI investigate the tragic deaths, looking to arrest the criminal group responsible, experts say there are ways to safely visit the area. The federal government and also the local governments have been working so hard to get security through everywhere in Mexico. In Phoenix, Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right, Bianca, thank you.